Welcome back. Last lesson we introduced two basic treble sounds, ta and tin. In this lesson we will learn two more. This is called titi, also known as tita. This is a flat treble sound played with your index and middle finger. When playing titi, do not allow the skin to bounce your finger back up as we did for ta and tin. Titi can be played in two ways, initiating with your index finger and initiating with your middle finger. Play directly in the center to produce the cleanest sound. For now we will focus on playing with the index finger first. The second basic sound is na. Na is a sharper version of ta played on the edge of the skin. For our second lesson we will be learning a tintal kaida. A kaida is a rhythmic composition based on a theme, which is then used as a basis for elaboration through improvisation and composition. The word kaida is a Hindi word meaning system of rules. The conventions for playing a kaida can become very complex, but in short, one must only use the balls that are in the original theme and maintain the bhari kali structure, shown in the previous video. The aim of this kaida is to develop your technique for titi and na. This is how it sounds. Let's break it down. When learning a kaida, break it down into small parts and combine them once you can play each section with proper technique. Feel free to pause the video and have a try. Remember to accent the bass the same way as I show in this video. When learning a new kaida or bull, it helps to say it out loud to help you remember what to play. If you are struggling to play na, you can replace it with ta instead. If your dolak skin is very old, it may not be able to produce the sound. Once you are able to play the full sequence, set up your Lera or metronome to 80 beats per minute and practice. As you practice, gradually increase the tempo of the Lera or metronome to a speed of 120 beats per minute as you improve. Once you have mastered the Kaida, try learning the following three variations as well. The variations will help to expose you to different hand movements involving titi and na. Try to set aside some time daily to practice. It may take up to two weeks till you have mastered the kaida and all its variations. There are many variations to this kaida. I have tried to select some that I think are important to help develop your technique. This is how it sounds. Thank you.
Break down the variation into small chunks before playing the whole thing. This variation may be tricky initially. Notice that on each beat we are playing two notes. Generally when playing titi, it will occupy one beat just like it does in this variation. If you master the bass guy though, this variation will be much easier to learn. Once you can play the whole sequence, remember to set your metronome or lira to 80 beats per minute and practice. As you become more confident, increase the speed by 5 beats per minute until you can play at 120 beats per minute. the second variation. Please take screenshots or notes to refer back to later. Once you have mastered the bass guider, you can practice all the variations together. This is how it will sound. Remember to break down the variation before attempting to play the whole sequence like we did for the previous variations. Do your best to strike the center of the skin when playing titi to get the cleanest sound. Also accent the bass as shown in the video. Just like the previous variations, practice at 80 beats per minute and wake your way up to 120 beats per minute. This is how it will sound. Now on to our third and final variation for this video. This is how it will sound.
This variation will assist you to develop the technique for Na. Na is a very difficult sound to produce. It will take some time, so please don't get demotivated and keep practicing. It's all about finding the sweet spot on the outer rim of the skin and being able to hit it consistently. If you cannot play Na, you can replace it with Na. All guide this compared with a Tihai. A Tihai is a rhythmic piece that is repeated identically three times with equal intervals in between each repetition. This is how it will sound. The Tihai occupies one and a half cycles or 24 beats. The 25th beat is kind of like a full stop, the beat played to show the end. To finish on the start of the new cycle, you can play the Tihai from the 9th beat of the cycle. When practicing the Tihai, I recommend playing from the 9th beat of the cycle. This will give you the satisfying feeling of finishing on the sum or the start of the cycle. You can simply wait for the 9th beat of the cycle and play Teen Tal until you reach it. Practice the Tihai and the variation shown in this video until you can comfortably play at 120 beats per minute before proceeding to the next lesson. Keep practicing and proceed to the next lesson when you are ready.